Good morning everyone. Today we are here in the beautiful British Virgin Islands. We're on the island of Tortola, which is the main island. We came here yesterday from the Dominican Republic. We got on like a little jet plane with a company called Inter Caribbean and it only took about an hour to get here so super quick and we're having just a little breakfast right now in the most perfect spot ever so Carol's done it once again <laughs> found the perfect accommodation yeah so this was actually the cheapest one that I could find for the dates that we uh, were coming here and I didn't expect to find something like this with this view I mean it's not cheap but for this place it's uh, considered to be very affordable uh, we're paying 124 USD per night and I think that's affordable for this uh, British Virgin Islands yeah this is one of the expensive islands from what we've seen so that kind of price range that Carol mentioned would just get you like a basic apartment in other areas but we get this view we're only about 10 minutes drive away from the capital too road town so there is a beach here too that looks pretty much deserted so we're gonna check that out first and then yeah on the hillside there it just seems to be other villas places to stay oh you even got some like little sun deck chairs here i think the owners might live up there we haven't met them yet so all our place is this so it is quite big a funny thing is though when we went inside yesterday we couldn't find the shower um, even in the bathroom there, it was just the toilet, so we were like, where the hell's the shower? And then we came out and realized it's here. So it's a open air shower. Completely open. So while you're taking a shower, that's your view. Hear the nice natural sounds, the birds. And this is the main part. So you can see it's really spacious. Got a nice double bed, single bed too, so you can have three people here. And we got a kitchen. So we've been cooking. So we actually did some supermarket shopping yesterday. They even have like the Jamaican beers here. I had some of those, Red Stripe. I also tried this one, Carib, which is from Trinidad and Tobago, which we're planning to go to at some point. Uh, really good beer too. And then, yeah, this was the little toilet area. I like the style of everything though. The beach that we could see from our place is called Trunk Bay. I'm not sure if this is the proper road here. It's just a tiny dirt road part though. It's only like a, a minute, maybe not even that. I love how jungly this island is. Yeah, me too. Beautiful. You're gonna see as we drive around later, the drive from the airport yesterday was absolutely amazing. How much was the rental car, Carol? Uh, 65 US dollars a day, and that's for an SUV because apparently you need an SUV or like a big one, bigger one, like four by four to drive around because of all the hills around the island. Yeah, the drives are absolutely spectacular here since it's all hills. Yeah, what a nice entrance. <laughs> Carol almost slipped. Big, beautiful palm trees. Exactly what you want when you arrive on the beach. Wow, the, sand, the sand's so soft and powdery. It's hard to even look since it's so white. Yeah. So we just ran into the owner as we were leaving and he said this beach is pretty much always empty. It's usually very rough, the water. He says we're kind of lucky right now. I mean, even now I can see some, some waves, but he says it's usually a lot more. So people don't come here a lot because can't really swim that well.
Yeah, so the waves are already pretty rough, so I don't think we will swim on this one. Just go for a quick beach walk, since the beach isn't that big. But around these corners, there's other beaches as well. We could see them on Google Maps. I'll get the drone out as usual around that cliff too. The owner of the place also said that that house there got pretty destroyed by a hurricane recently. So they're kind of rebuilding it. But the room that we're in seems fine. So it's all good. We're going to be heading to one of the other popular beaches now, which I think is going to be better to swim. Probably saw from the drone shots, all the beaches on this coast just seem to be completely deserted. Just not many people here at all in peak season. And we also found out that there's no cruises here today. So I think even the popular beach that we're going to go to now will be pretty laid back and relaxing. We just stopped at the side of Ridge Road, which is one of the main roads going through the island. And we're trying to get some good viewpoints. There's like multiple places that you can stop on the Ridge Road to get good views. Morning. Morning. So it looks like there's an opening here, possibly a viewpoint. But this is how it is for the most part on this island. Like I said, it is just all hills, so really cool as you're driving around these roads. You can actually see the road going up there. Uh, it's not completely what we were looking for, is it? No. <laughs> Maybe we'll stop at a different viewpoint then. I think that down there is Road Town, the capital of the British Virgin Islands. All right, so maybe this place is a bit better for the view. Yeah, I think it is. Not really like a official viewpoint or anything. Just stopping at a random place. So that's it down there, Road Town. On other days you'd be seeing the big cruises around here, big cruise ships. And out there you can see other islands. I'm not sure if that's one of the ones that we'll be visiting. We do plan on doing some boat tours. As usual, we're gonna have a, a number of different videos here. We're planning to make four, it depends on the weather, but there should be three or four. So in a separate video, we'll go into the capital too. We'll film that. And then we'll be doing the boat trips, like we said, and exploring more on this island and including the prices like we always do. So this is Kane Garden Bay. Absolutely amazing entrance driving into it. We just came down that hillside there. So I think we're just gonna go on a walk on this beach too, and then we'll find a good spot to chill out. There are loads of beach beds and restaurants here. We'll probably have a bite to eat with a nice beach view later on. Now look at the amazing views that all these houses have though. Basically all of them will have incredible views. There's also billions of people on sailboats around here. We saw them passing the beach in front of us. Caribbean would be having to sail around. Yeah. 
I love this island already. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it was definitely true what the guy said. If there's no cruises, there's basically no people. Yeah, it's really, really chill. Got the reggae going. Let's see what the beach food prices are like. Lobster will obviously be a lot. $45. Fish with two sides, $25. You can get a pizza for $15, not so bad. The basic one goes up to $26. Lamb shawarma pizza. You can get like a, a fish burger, $17. Not actually too bad, I thought it was going to be worse. Lamo chicken shawarma, $10. Yeah, so we chose that place that we saw the menu price just now. It's called Paradise. The reggae sealed the deal for me. I like listening to reggae at the beach. Reggae, cold beer and, and this beach. That'll be good. Carol. And Carol. Some other deals that they have, two for seven dollars, painkiller and rum punch until 7 p.m. Ooh, curry chicken with coconut rice. I might have to go for that. Sounds good. So I'm going for the Jamaican beer, the Red Stripe. They did say that they do have some local beers on the islands, but they're not selling them right now. So it was more like the Mexican beers, Modelos, and the one from Dominican Republic, Presidente. But I like these. I like the bottle too little chunky bottle yeah so when we arrived yesterday here it was basically just love at first sight for us the moment that we left the airport actually when we were arriving on the plane just looking how the island was shaped we were just like this is definitely our vibe our kind of island so even though this is a british territory they don't use the british pound they use the us dollar over here for some reason maybe just because of its proximity to the states but just like the uk you do have to drive on the left side of the road the correct side of the road? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Carol also prefers to drive on the right side. That's what she's used to. But here's the left. All right, time for our first dip in the British Virgin Islands. We arrived here yesterday pretty late. It was almost like sunset time. So we didn't really do anything. Oh, that is amazing. I think everywhere in the Caribbean is the same though. Everywhere that we've been just kind of like the same temperature all the time. We just ordered some food too at the Paradise Bar and Restaurant, so we'll show you that when it gets here. This place is too good. Yeah, laid back, empty, and beautiful. <laughs> what happened? Something just like... Bit you? Yeah, my, my feet. Yum, 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 yum. Can't see anything in there. Got some biters. going for the chicken curry that I wanted got rice with beans and some mashed potatoes it's smelling amazing already so that was 25 US dollars what have you got there 
mahi mahi fish burger. Big, big chunky fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Yeah, with fries. That was 17 US dollars. 17. Yeah, strong curry taste, but not not spicy at all so far. Oh, just a mild hint now. But it's not like super spicy or anything. Yeah, it has more of like a spicy aftertaste to it. A little kick. I thought it was going to be spicier though. How was the big fish burger? <laughs> really good. Because usually when it's fish burger, they put like some random fish, which is not so good. But this one, the chunky fish is good and it's full of herbs, so a uh, better taste. I really like it. I like it also when they have the, the beans and the rice. That's yeah, delicious. And I forgot to mention the price of the red stripe. So it's four US dollars. Not too bad with the location that we're in. I think sometimes in Jamaica they were charging like six dollars on the beach. So we stopped at another place now, another bar and grill. Getting a double espresso. Recharge my batteries. Carol's already charged up, no coffee required. <laughs> I think this is a popular place. Myatt's Garden and Grill. Also got the reggae vibes going on here too. Great views from this place also. So now we're heading to a rum distillery here. I think it's called Colwood's Rum Distillery. And it's supposed to be the oldest operating one in the world. It's like hundreds of years old. And before we came here, we watched a documentary, remember? Yeah, on, on YouTube, but it was made by a, like a television thing. They were showing the things to do in, the, in this island. And one of the things was to visit this distillery. And I think it was the thing that we were more more interested. Uh, I think they still use the things that they were using when they built the distillery. So it's supposed to be a very cool experience. The buildings are also really nice on this island. A lot of them are this kind of style. Like just different colors though. That one's a white one. Some of the other ones that we see are very colorful. <laughs> and we see the, the chickens everywhere. Yeah, or rooster. Yeah, these guys, we literally saw them the moment we went out of the airport. We saw them at the supermarket. They're taking over. They also get many little huts like this, little stores. On the beach, they were kind of like this, weren't they? Yeah. And here's the rum distillery. So look how old that looks. I saw online that it said 400 years old, which is crazy. I think that must be around like the pirate times. Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, this building here goes back from the 1600, it'll be more than 400 years old. Always been a distillery, never changed, never stopped. So the family owned this as local people called the Carlwood family for over 200 years, generation after generation. They're still here? Still here. Okay. So let's go uh, by the cane. I'm going to show you guys uh, the sugar cane will be used to make the rum. So was this here during like the, the pirate times or no? Yeah, that's yeah? right. That's right. <laughs> Pirate days. <laughs> so you remember I told you it's 126 rum distillery. This is the only one we made. And we still make the rum here from pure cane juice. Okay, so we have farmers on Tortola also plant the sugar cane. So those guys bring us the cane. Sometimes those guys want money, sometimes they want rum and exchange. It's those guys' choices. The cane also take two ways to grow. So what we do, we cut the cane from here, make the leaf shorter, we take the head, stick it into the earth. So by doing that, it shoots off a new head. If you cut the cane from here to here, you plant the spot into the earth, you see these things? It's eyes. So this will actually form into a sugar cane on the board side of the cane. Ah, a new one. Yeah, so six to seven months, the cane will reach 10 to 12 feet long. So that is how we make it once a year. The 
this one here is for people who don't drink having sugar cane like a liqueur sweet What's woman inside? Drink sugar cane sugar cane so woman drink it be sexy remove the panties very fast so this is a panty <laughs> removal this one having natural roots inside of it so it's like mama wanna root so this is for guys okay. if you drink it it make you stay longer time in bed with your woman oh, okay <laughs> now it's the best part yeah so remember everything is local we don't ship none of these rums to different countries once you love it you have to come back here to talk cooler oh so you only sell it here only here okay so we're gonna start from the brown we're gonna finish with a white this is a scotch taste for a rum punch very strong smell mm. <laughs> strong very strong what kind of percentage is this you 40%. know 40 percent 40 all of them low, all of them yeah okay try this one this is what i drink keep it in your mouth swish and swallow <laughs> oh this one has more of a kick to it You're not a rum person, no? no. <laughs> Only with coke. <laughs> Only with coke. Uh, okay, ladies rum. This is done for lightweights, people who don't drink. Oh, okay. You might like that. Do people do rum and coke here? Yeah, they use like the white rum. On the white rum. Mm -hmm. On the ladies rum. Yeah, this one is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I like the ladies one the most. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> okay, this one is the boxer remover all night long. No, I like this one more. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, it was pretty cool, right? Just a quick tour. Yeah, yeah. My mouth is kind of tingly right now <laughs> after all the room. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just five dollars per person the uh, the tour. We also got this bottle of rum, the one that's good for females, twelve dollars. They had some others that were just six dollars. So we were talking about that documentary that we saw. That was actually the the same guy that was in the documentary. So I didn't film this part at the time, but he said this is the old engine that's used, the eighty-year-old engine, to press the sugar cane. And this part is uh, 100 years old and they still use it. It's exactly what they use until this day. So you'll like shove the sugar cane in there and then that will squeeze the liquid out of it into here. And I think he said it's only from like March until August. That's the season for it. So I think if you're here during that time, you might actually see the machines in use too. That would be cool. And then this old school machine here is where they kind of brew it at the end. I don't, I don't know the terminology, but in the documentary, I think we saw them using that. You could see like the fire and smoke coming out. So that was really cool. Check out this tree here. Nothing to do with the rum, but seems like every time we go to a different tropical country or place, we see like new fruits that we've never seen before. This is the cat making noise during the tour. Yeah, <laughs> he or she wants to be pet. That's a cute cat been drinking rum what is that okra oh really yeah the first time that I see it on a tree like this I think it's the first time I saw it I, I never even knew what okra was like on the on the tree or plant
So we drove about eight minutes west and we come to another popular beach called Long Bay Beach. It seems like here is more upscale. We passed a lot of like fancy looking restaurants, villas, hotels. You can see these beach villas here. I think here's looking pretty high tide too, just like the other beach that we went to. Yeah, the waves are definitely coming in. So the previous beach that we were at was just over there, that bit of land that you can see sticking out. So it is just very close. You're just like going up and down constantly, but just beautiful drives everywhere. Beautiful drives and beautiful beaches. Yeah, so those beach villas I was talking about, they just go on and on. They're all the same, so they must just belong to one company. Almost the entire beach. Carol checked on Google and it shows that the cheapest one is $500. And that's probably not even a beach facing one. It's probably back there somewhere behind on the other side of the road. So it's almost sunset time and we've come back to our place now. And this is probably like the best chill spot we've ever had in an accommodation. Just absolutely amazing. Makes me just want to sit here for hours. And I'm having that Guinness foreign extra stout. I think it's like a version of Guinness that they just sell around the Caribbean. It's quite different to a normal Guinness so I'm getting used to it, it's pretty good though. And I forgot to mention that when you arrive at the airport on this island, you have to pay like a environmental fee. It's just $10 per person. And yeah, I guess that just helps them uh, protect the island. And they're definitely doing a good job of it. Don't think we saw trash anywhere at all. And overall, the island does look pretty untouched. Obviously you do get the villas and stuff, but for the most part, it just looks like an empty jungle, so. Yeah, that's nice, and that was one of the benefits. Just like you saw where we are, so on this hillside, there's barely any other villas or anything. And in the next video, we're planning on getting a ferry across to one of the other islands called Virgin Gorda, and that looks like one of the most beautiful places here. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.